Hi there. I'm the R32 GTR. I'm about 30 years old. I've been in the US for about five years now, and I'm well established and have a career. Uh, uh, hi there. I'm the R34 GTR. I I'm not old enough to go to the US yet, but I hope to go someday. <laughs> Sup bros, two step, oh yeah, uh, I'm the R35 GTR, so like, I'm kind of like you guys, but like I'm not, but you guys still think I'm cool, right bro, totally not a poser. <laughs> I'm the original GTR, so I'm an old man. <sighs> What's up people? We're going to do kind of a random impromptu video here for Mondo Motors. Uh, the first thing I'm actually going to do is issue an apology. Uh, I am going to be shooting this on a cell phone, so if the quality is lower than expected or if I'm a bit shaky, I'm sorry for being a human being and not being perfect. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do is apologize for any background noise of this air conditioner, but it is currently Florida in July, uh, so it's hot as balls and I need that AC some fierce. So the purpose of this video is actually to give you guys somewhat of an update. Uh, things going on here at Montu, talk a little bit about the market, hopefully answer some questions here that people have been asking us lately, and uh, we'll just have a little bit of fun. So to get started here, um, we'd like to actually say that Montu Motors, uh, as of August of 2019, will be turning five years old. So break out the champagne, break out the brewskis, have a toast for us, we'll probably be doing the same. And uh, also a huge thanks to all the customers that have purchased cars from us in the past. Uh, realistically, uh, we couldn't be here without you guys. Uh, you know, we need, uh, we need customers to stay open, stay in business, and uh, we appreciate uh, everybody who's considered us for a purchase and taken the plunge into buying an old Japanese car. Um, we're glad we could be there for you guys. So hopefully we can do more business with more people in the future, maybe even get some returning customers and, uh, you know, put some, some more smiles on people's faces. And if you haven't bought a car from Montu Motors, uh, still a big thank you. Uh, you know, if you're watching our videos, following us on social media, or just a big uh, fan of us, <laughs> uh, again, we thank you. Um, you know, even if you haven't bought a car from us, you're still important to us. You like these cars, you follow us, you pay attention to us, and uh, again, we're we're very appreciative of that. So, big thanks to everybody that is uh, you know stuck with us on this fun ride, and uh, hopefully there'll be more years to come. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is talk a little bit about the changes in the market. Uh, some things that we at Montu are starting to notice as far as things go. Um, we've had a lot of people ask us lately. Um, again, I'm gonna apologize for being shaky here, but I'm gonna to try to scroll through and show you guys some of the cars as we go along. Um, but something people are kind of noticing and asking us about is the increase in price on the Skyline GTRs. Um, Skyline GTR is by far our most popular car. It's our bread and butter. Uh, we sell more of those than anything else. We try to get a few rando cars here and there, but uh, again, it's predominantly going to be the GTRs. Uh, it seems to be the one that uh, the most people want, and uh, we sell more of those uh, than anything else by a massive margin. Um, but people are asking why the prices on them are starting to go up. Um, we're going to use this car as an example here. Not just because it's the most expensive one we currently have, but it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good example of uh, how the market's changing. Um, you know, you can see the specs here on the screen. Uh, this car is up for $29.9 as the making of this video. Uh, 120,165 miles roughly on it. And uh, yeah, uh, three years ago, that would have been insane to ask uh, that much for a car like this. But uh, realistically, uh, due to market changes, uh, it's, it's sadly, it's starting to become kind of normal. Uh, we expect to see a lot more of this in the future. Uh, it sucks, I know. Um, I wish I could sell cars for dirt cheap, uh, fill more people's garages, and just sell more cars in general. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. There's this good old thing called supply and demand. And uh, the supply is eventually going to dwindle more so than it is now. And the demand is up. And the good people of Japan uh, know about uh, know all about a sneaky Murricans trying to buy up all their Skyline GTRs. So, uh, yeah, there is definitely a premium on these cars nowadays. And uh, we, really don't, uh, we really don't see any prices going down, unfortunately, in the near future. Uh, you know, people ask about, oh, what about when the R33s come, etc., etc. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later, but uh, really, right now, we're we're seeing a pretty steady increase in the price in these uh, the price of these cars. So, um, 
again, it kind of is what it is. Um, you know, we pay more for it in Japan. Unfortunately, it's going to cost us more to get it here and and uh, and, and sell. Unfortunately, so. Um, but uh, we'll try to keep things as reasonable as possible. Um, you know, we don't want to be price gougers. We'd like to keep everything fair within the market. Um, of course, we got to put uh, you know food on our plate at the end of the day. So we got to try and make some money. Otherwise, uh, you know, we won't be making this video in the future. We won't have a 10-year anniversary if that's uh, if that became the case. But also, we've had a lot of people ask us lately about the uh, maybe even some some concerns about the quality of the cars that we're seeing. Is it going down? Well, not necessarily. Um, we're definitely seeing a few things here and there, and the biggest ones being, um, you know, those super clean, low mileage cars, uh, you know, 91, 90, 89. Uh, they're definitely getting more and more sparse, um, no doubt about it. And just like anything, you think about you go to a store, if you go to the grocery store and you're gonna pick through the produce, uh, are you gonna take the one that's okay? No, you're gonna take the best one that's out there. So everybody who is buying these cars and has been doing such uh, you know, for the past few years, not just Montu Motors, but you know, any of our uh, competitive companies out there that have been doing the same thing, of course, they all wanna have the best possible cars. Um, you know, it's kind of the, the nature of the business. You don't wanna sell garbage, you wanna sell, sell the best. Um, so a lot of those cars have been picked through and uh, you know, not to say they're not gonna be out there. They'll still be out there, you know, just a bit more rarely. Um, but the average car, it's kind of the same as it's always been. Uh, you know, these are 25 to, I mean, shoot, now the uh, 89 GTR is hitting 30 years old, which is crazy. It's probably older than 60% uh, of the people we talk to on a daily basis, so, which is kind of scary. Makes me feel old, but uh, yeah, I mean, these are old cars. They're gonna have signs of wear and tear. We're actually gonna do a follow-up video coming up here, hopefully in the next few days, uh, to kind of touch on that a little bit more. Tell, uh, tell everybody about, you know, what kind of things to expect with GTRs. You know, what are the, the common areas of flaws? We're gonna be, uh, you know, cosmetic issues, mechanical issues, just things that we've kind of uh, seen and experienced here over the past five years. Um, so more to come, actually. Uh, that'll be a good video and stay tuned. Another thing we want to talk about here is actually how to select a car. If you're interested in purchasing, uh, you know, a JDM car, uh, we'll use a Skyline specifically to start here. You know, what uh, what kind of things should you look into before purchasing a car? The first thing, obviously, a big one is going to be budget. Again, with the prices uh, on the rise here, um, you know, budgets unfortunately you're going to have to increase to get a higher quality of car. So if you're going to look into getting one of these cars. I would strongly suggest over budgeting and that's just mostly for your own sake because you never know what's out there you might uh, you might look at one car consider one thing and then find another car that's you know maybe a little bit more expensive but a little bit cleaner uh, but might totally suit your needs or you know whatever you want with one of these cars um, you know we've had plenty of customers you know purchase these cars in the past that uh, we're looking to daily drive them um, you know maybe a little ballsy uh, you know 30 year old Nissan twin turbo uh, being daily driven is uh, you know it's a it's a tall order for a car like this, but it can be done. Of course, the uh, you know going to your initial purchase, whether you're looking for maybe a higher uh, higher end cleaner car, or maybe if you're just looking for something a bit more average that uh, you know you can kind of tinker with and and customize. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think a lot of people uh, really uh, go into buying one of these cars with that mindset. Um, you know, looking to purchase a GTR to customize it, tune it, make it their own. Um, I mean, that's really probably the best thing you could do with a car like this. It's totally the, uh, you know, the car guy or the gearheads, uh, you know, forte. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, they're easy to tune. They're fast. Uh, you know, if you invest invest the money and get the right parts, um, they're definitely fun toys. And again, we'll touch a little bit more on some of these things in a uh, in a future video. But again, the budget's very important. You know, when looking into a GTR. Uh, Obviously, not everybody's going to have cash ready. I mean, this is a, we'll admit, it's a big sum of money for uh, someone just to have sitting around, uh, you know, under under a couch cushion or in their piggy bank. Um, so obviously, that's a huge, uh, huge uh, expectation here if people are thinking that we expect everyone to have cash. Um, obviously, that's not the case. Uh, on our FAQ page right up here, um, we actually have some links to banks that can, you know, assist you with financing. Here's an awesome video that was made uh, previously, uh, talking a little bit about how to finance a JDM car. Look, there's even questions and answers and all kinds of good stuff here. Um, you know, if that's the case, feel free to talk to one of these guys. It's not something that we do here. Uh, we can't, we can't mention that enough times. 
Um, but we do refer people to these banks and they actually do a great job. But another thing too with these cars, uh, you know, we're based in Florida. Um, people ask, do I have to be in Florida in order to purchase one? Absolutely not. We can always ship a car to you. Um, you know, prices on shipping vary depending on location and time of year. The busy season for shipping companies, uh, you know, again, supply and demand. A lot of times people also ask, uh, you know, hey, can I fly into Florida and drive the car home? You can. Um, depending on the type of car, depending on how far you are, uh, we may advise it, uh, having the car shipped. Um, again, they're old cars. Things can happen on a long drive. Uh, you know, some of these cars have never made a 1,000 mile trip um, in their lives. Um, so, you know, to make a long journey like that in such an old car, sometimes it can be risky. Um, you know, we'll be the first to admit it. And uh, we'd hate to have a situation where somebody buys, uh, you know, maybe a heav heavily modified car, sat for a long time in Japan, and then now it's all, all of a sudden being thrown to the wolves here and uh, embarking on this long journey and, you know, stuff can happen. Stuff can happen with any car, really. So yeah, another thing we actually wanted to touch on here is what happens if you're going through a website and you're looking at all these great cars, you don't have the car that you're looking for. Uh, if you want something very specific, so we'd advise you maybe sending us an email or giving us a phone call first, uh, inquiring about the car that you're interested in. Uh, just making sure that it's doable. You know, if someone's coming to us looking for a, you know, twin turbo Toyota Supra that's mint condition with super low mileage and uh, unmodified for twenty thousand dollars, we're gonna say, well, sorry, man, it can't be done. Uh, it's just not not reasonable. But if everything looks well, you know, we can take the deposit to get the process started. We can uh, hunt the car down for you. Um, we share any information uh, that we can, uh, you know, obtain to make sure that it is the car that you want to get and then uh, we can secure it, bring it here and uh, legalize it just like all the beautiful cars that you see here on our website. And also another thing we get asked uh, is, uh, are these cars all in the US? If it's in our current inventory, it is currently in the US. Uh, that is why we try to update things if you see our future inventory page here. Uh, this awesome R33 V-Spec uh, that will be coming uh, January of next year. Um, that car obviously is not in the US, that is still in Japan. Um, which actually brings me to my next point here, um, changes in the market, the R33 will become available January of 2020, like this one here, which you can totally purchase if you so choose to. Um, but what's going to be the difference between the R32 and the R33? Is there going to be any impacts on the market? We don't really know if the R32 market will be impacted by the R33s, uh, to be upfront about it. Um, again, with prices on the rise, we don't see it just dropping like a stone out of nowhere just because the R33s are coming in. And here's another thing to put in perspective. Uh, total production of R32 GTRs is somewhere right around 44,000. Um, so it's a pretty substantial amount as far as the GTRs go. The R33, in contrast, uh, there was about roughly 16,000 or so. Um, so far fewer cars, um, you know, the R33 GTRs we expect to be drastically more expensive. Um, you know, the one that we have in our future inventory, again, that's a pretty special example, you know, under 18,000 miles of V-Spec, um, you know, that one's going to be expensive, uh, admittedly. But uh, we expect the average car to be somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 35 to 45,000, depending on exact mileage and condition. Um, so a little bit more than the R32s, uh, actually, you know, a good, a good amount more, realistically. Um, and for those who are going to ask, uh, you know, the R34s, <clears throat> here's the date as of this video. Uh, we still got about four years. Uh, we expect those cars to be, I mean, shoot, we're seeing them these days in Japan for you know, 80 to 90,000, uh, and they're not even U.S. ready yet. So imagine once the U.S. market, uh, you know, catches up and uh, is ready to start getting them, uh, it's going to be very expensive. So uh, just for those asking, uh, what we know for now, but uh, yeah, we don't really look much into it now because uh, uh, why you look into a car we can't sell. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully we're able to answer some questions here for you guys, uh, or at least maybe be a little bit entertaining or uh, you know, give you a little bit of uh, feedback on Montu Motors, some uh, insight into the GTR market or just the JDM market in general. Um, again, we specialize in cars from Japan. You know, maybe we'll get to see some of you guys in the future. Uh, maybe you'll get to buy one of our cars and, you know, put a smile on your face and have something fun in your garage. So, yeah, if you have any more questions for us, uh, here's our contact page. You can find it right up here at the top. Uh, you can give us a phone call, 1-800-262-3679. If you want sales, you can go to extension 1. If you want parts or service, you can go to extension 3. We'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, our phone lines are open 10 to 6, basically daily. Um, feel free to give us a call. 
Um, or you can send us an email, info at montumotors.com. You can send us an email uh, any time of the day. We'll answer them from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. usually uh, on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, looking forward to hearing from you guys and uh, hopefully do some business here in the future. And uh, yeah, let's keep it rolling here. Let's get some more JDM cars here in the US and put some more smiles on people's faces. Thanks for watching this video and have a good one. Right in the nuts. I would definitely recommend Monty Motors. And I would definitely go through Monty Motors again and again. Registration, insurance, all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they took care of every fear you could possibly have. They'll be able to answer it right on the spot. That was a ridiculously simple process for getting a JDM car. I couldn't be happier with my purchase from Monty Motors.